Hello friends, this is Devupal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is builder design pattern, what's the benefit and why this builder design pattern came. In addition, also I'll explain the code base and I'll show you the way of writing your own builder class. So this is all about the overview for this video. And if you are new, I'll request you subscribe my channel and share with your friends because lots of videos are coming in, in the pipeline. Okay, so let's start this tutorial. So before I mean discussing about the code, I would like to give you some clarity why this builder design pattern came. So there is a concept of factory design pattern might be you have heard an abstract factory design pattern what is happening so i need to create a object i'll uh, create a one factory pool and i'll pass the parameter and i'll create the object and whenever i need it so i'll use that object right so in that case whenever you need the object might be uh, you need to create a kind of complex object and several times what happened you need to pass some uh, optional parameters although it's not required for creating that object so the point is here so you need a specific object you don't need kind of unnecessarily parameters in order to create the object right so th that kind of problem will arise in case of factory or abstract factory design pattern but builder design pattern came in order to solve this particular problem let's say i'm giving you the example yeah, there is a one particular class and you, you need to create the object. Let's say there is a two parameter. One is uh, name and another is a ID. But you need to create the object with the ID. You don't need a name. Okay, you don't need name. So why you unnecessarily pass the ID, right? So in that case and even for complex creations of the object, that factory design pattern or abstract factory design pattern uh, it's a kind of you know lots of create the problem so build a design pattern efficiently represent and provide the way to create the object so the main purpose of the builder design pattern so they are saying you can create the object a step by a step like a, this is the first step this is a th second step, third step and finally whatever your object will be needed so you will be creating at the final stage. So step by step you need to create the object and finally you will build the object whatever is required for the client or might be for your project. So that is the purpose of the builder design pattern. Why this builder name came? Builder means building. Let's say it's a common example just think of your house so whenever you are cr creating any house so what happened first of all base foundations will be constructed and then wall then window door then roof so finally your complete home or house will be creating so what is happening so base by uh, step by step without base you can't create uh, make the wall right make the door or window places and without the base foundations or wall you can't actually put the roof right so this is why it is called a builder design pattern now in our real life programming example so what we can say let's say you have to create a object it's a very common scenario i am giving you so let's say um client is giving you the requirement okay so I need a kind of utility which can create a XML or JSON. Okay, this utility create a XML or JSON. But what I need? I need like a, you'll give the flexibility to create the XML file or JSON file. I mean as, uh, as per my own choice. So what will happen? So in, let's common example in case of XML. So what we'll do? So first of all, you will create the root element. So this should be a root element. And then after that uh, root element, what will create? So then inside that you will create kind of element, parent element, 
so inside that parent element there should be a uh, element uh, let's say there should be element child element and even you can put the attribute for this element so this is a kind of step by step okay so i need to create a parent element child element i need to add this particular attribute with that parent or child element so this is a kind of uh, step by step you are creating the object and finally when that object will be done so you are getting the actual xml so this is a one common practical example there is a lots of more so if you think from the java library perspective so there is a string buffer right if you remember there is a string buffer and there is a string builder so how they will create the object so instead of traditional string class so it will create the object with the help of dot append method so let's say i need to create a one big string okay so i'll do the dot append dot append and finally dot append this is a based on purely builder design pattern these two java classes purely based on that builder design pattern right so now so building the object step by step that is basically builder design pattern so now in order to create a your own or might be a custom builder class what you need to do so first of all you have to remember so you have to create a class and your builder class i mean your uh, nested class should be a static class means in this example you can see my actual my classes name is my class dot java so let's say if you are creating one computer so what do you need you need a uh, hard disk you need a ram you need a motherboard you need a uh, uh, monitor and you need a power supply and uh, you need a mouse keyboard right so what you will do so your main class let's say your main class name is computer so the computer class should contain all the attribute means your all the important attribute what important attribute that is hard disk ram monitor uh, then a motherboard all the attribute and you have to make this attribute as a private and second you have to put a setter and getter method done now you have to make the constructor as a private you should not be provide the access to create the object from your base class so you will make a private now this is a kind of you know normal traditional class so you need to create a kind of traditional class but main part is inside your that computer dot java class here is my class dot java you need to create a static nested class so that class name should be always padded with a builder let's say if you are creating computer you can give a my computer builder okay so your that static class should be here so this static class what will do so this static class basically provide the uh, way to create the object for this actual your base class and it will contain all the optional method and also it will provide the build method build method means which will finally return the actual object of this computer or nothing but a base class so this is kind of i know like a little bit uh, you know crazy concept so now going to if i show the code base so your concept will be more clear so let's say this is a computer dot java so my class is computer dot java i have to create the computer okay so my required parameters as i mentioned hard disk ram and also you can put uh, monitors uh, motherboard uh, power supply right optional parameters is gra graphics card or bluetooth wi-fi any other features so now i have a, all, all the uh, attributes is a private attribute you can see right but i have provided all the setter and getter method but what i said your base class constructor should be private 
so i made that computer constructor as a private part inside that constructor you have to provide the object argument of the static class so what would be your static class nested static class should be your actually builder class means if you are creating the computer so your class name should be my computer or computer builder class so this object should be there and you need to set so here is your actually that attributes belongs to that computer class so this dot hdd equals to your builder class dot hdd so now what you need to do whatever uh, attributes you are actually using in your base class same attribute you should put in your static class right so i have made public static class is computer builder now what i did basically i if you see so my main parameter so if uh, sddd ram and even the motherboard and the power supply is a main parameter always i should put a the constructor of this static class but remember this constructor should be public because outside the world means actual client should use this constructor in order to create the object step by step so now this is actually done you can see this is a public and i have provided the main requirement for this object so main is hard disk and ram without hard disk and ram computer cannot be run but without graphics card and bluetooth computer can be run right so now so what i did so i have to add the optional method so optional method is my graphics card and optional method is my bluetooth so i have added it finally i have to provide the build method so what is build method build method should actually return the object of your base class so here is computer so you can see it is returning the object of base class so this is all so now whenever you will create the object how it, you are creating string buffer sb equals to new string buffer then sb dot append right so similarly here so your base class is computer com equals to new computer dot computer builder basically when you are using the computer builder so you are actually using that constructor so we have to provide the hard disk and ram right so you can see here i have provided 500 gb and 2 gb that is a ram and now i can set the optional field true false and then finally build method so that is means this computer actually i have created step by step means first of all i have added the hard disk ram then i have uh, added okay so bluetooth should be there okay graphics card should be there if others like uh, if i need a mouse if i need a uh, uh, keyboard so i can add it and even the wi-fi so this is the way of creating your custom builder class so here is my small example so i'll upload both code base you can take a reference and you can actually play with the code in order to understand see so i have created i'll not say like a, this is a hundred percent correct but i am showing you the way you can create the your custom builder design pattern so now whenever i am talking like a, you have to create a xml kind of builder so or utility so i have given xml builder you can see i have given the name as a xml builder so now in order to create the xml uh, you need a three important thing one is root element another is a uh, sub element or might be you can say the parent child element and third is attributes that should be connected particular the element or tag right so in this example i have actually added the root element and normal element right so now uh, you can see so root element and normal element i have created separate pojo because uh, it's not a kind of a simple computer it's a kind of complex uh, the, uh, form of the uh, utility so that's what i have created a separate pojo so element you can see so element is name so what should be name uh, let's say this is the uh, 
uh, as I said like uh, this is the parent and this is the uh, parent n tag and their name should be what should be the name let's say name should be uh, Debu okay so this is the value right and this is the start tag n tag and tag name so also I have put it is n tag and is parent that kind of optional field and now I have used all the getter and setter method and twisting it's a kind of by default right so now root element is basically I have provided the root element name apart from that I have nothing provided here right so now my main thing is as I said element and root element but I should have a kind of uh, my builder class right so as I mentioned here so you can think like a computer and computer builder so now I'll create a this class kind of XML builder where should be attribute should be my uh, object reference of these two element root element and normal element so I have used you can see here use that is private so now I have provided getter setter method and also I made this constructor as a private you can see but inside that constructor what I provide as an argument if you see I have provided builder here right builder right so my nested class should be static and name should be kind of builder so I have made it only builder and builder class also should have a this element right so I have actually initialized here this object why I have initialized this uh, object here because it's not an attribute so if I not initialized here so either I have to initialize in somewhere else or I'll get a null pointer exceptions right so now your as I mentioned your uh, builder class uh, builder uh, static class should have a public constructor so I have made it public and this constructor should have a basic or might be you can say important parameter so my important parameter in order to create the xml is you should be provide the root element so i have taking the name of the root element and now i am checking if new root element null so i have mentioned root element should not be a null right if not then i am actually setting this dot root element dot set name and this is a kind of xml tag that's what i have padded this uh, so kind of things and similarly uh, for the others non-important what I am actually doing you can see I am adding add end root tag okay but everywhere I have to return the builder because this is my builder but finally all those uh, method is a kind of optional method I, I can add the value even I don't want I can't I can skip the add value method but your main you have to return the build so uh, I mean XML builder class right your main class so XML builder here if you see my other example here I am actually returning the computer right so similarly you have to return there so I am returning this and for another simplicity purpose I am telling you I have used at the uh, I mean you can see the get XML method uh, and I have used kind of a uh, protected static string buffer and if you see the code I have appended that value because the reason is I want to show you the what object I have created so that actually has the proper value or not so that's what I have actually added so that is a not part of the builder design pattern in order to show you the uh, object data so I have used that one so now this is my sample uh, class you can see so XML builder that is my main class so I'm using that new builder uh, and I have actually put it the value that is a root and then I have adding the starting tag parent and yes this is true and adding the value equals to 2 and also I'm adding okay end tag is also parent for this tag and then end root tag is also root and then finally I'm building the object so now if I run this particular piece of code you can see uh, here uh, the output so here the output is clearly showing root then parent 
then value is true and then parent tag close then root tag close so this is how i am actually creating my own custom builder class so the uh, uh, let's summarize quickly so you have to create your main class so this main class should have a all the uh, field field means actually the variable name that should be a private you will provide the getter and setter method right and you have to create a constructor as a private but inside that constructor you have to pass the argument of your nest uh, nested static builder class object right so that inside that class you have to create a static uh, builder class this class should have the same number of attributes what you have put at your base class and now uh, you have to create a public constructor this public constructor should uh, take the input of your main uh, um, in uh, informations to create the base step object and then if you want to add a uh, optional method you can add the optional method but your return type should be that is static builder class object and finally you have to provide a build method which can actually return this your base object so that is means whenever you are creating a, a object a step by step you are creating the object of your static class then it is actually returning this object itself now finally when you are actually um, using the build method so this build method actually returning your main i mean you are finally let's say if you are creating a home if you are creating a, a computer so it should return that object so this is all about related to builder design pattern please check the description sections you will find this code base and still if you have a doubt just don't be hesitant just try to reach out me either via mail or might be a through the comment sections thanks for watching my video if you like my video subscribe my channel and share with your friends bye have a nice day Take care.